Hey guys, it's Sunday and I just got done working out at the CrossFit gym. I am stopping by Costco and I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, and I also have my weigh in. You guys are not gonna believe it. I'm back down to 179. So um, even at one point during the week, it had gotten up to like 186. It was crazy. I don't know what was going on in my body, but you know, we're, I'm working my muscles a lot. And so um, this is kind of my first experience with like the scale kind of putting on like six pounds within a week and then dropping all of it back off within another week so <laughs> anyway so it just goes to show you don't get discouraged about uh, the scale especially if you are still eating good you know that you're not splurging anywhere um, and you are working out more and building your muscles more so you know the scale is going to kind of reflect like some different changes in your body so uh, yeah just hang in there keep going and uh, I'm excited to show you that I am back down to 179. When I was 179 a couple weeks ago, here's what it looked like. So you can see that it is a different uh, day. <laughs> it's not the same picture of the scale I'm showing you. Um, I actually technically lost 0.2 because now I'm 179.0. So that's exciting. So we did get uh, at least a little bit lower. And uh, all right, let's get Costco done. <laughs> All right guys, so here is everything I am going to get. Pretty standard things that you've probably seen in my other videos. So we have um, sparkling water with different flavors. And here I got some tomato sauce. The pasta I'm gonna use is the Miracle Noodles. So it'll be like a really low carb pasta option. Then we have kielbasa, which I usually always get. I didn't feel like cooking too much this week. So I got a rotisserie chicken and ribs that were already cooked. Two heavy creams. I have two things of eggs. I'm going to be hard boiling some eggs, so that's why I wanted to get kind of a lot. Try to eat more of those. Broccoli frozen. I have some almond flour. I want to bake some like pumpkin spice things for fall when my mom comes. She'll um, probably really enjoy that. And then got avocados, one case of spinach, two um, Parmesan cheese crisps. Then I also got just Parmesan itself, and I got some bacon crumbles, and that's it. All right, I'm gonna go check out and see you guys soon. Hey, so it's Monday night now. I am out of the shower, no makeup, ready for bed, and I really can't wait to get in bed. It was a long day today. I went to the gym early this morning great workout again. Um, I'm really loving working out, but it's definitely making me more tired in the evening. But I want to share my blood test. Blood test? No. Blood panel? Blood results? What are we calling this? Blood work. Yes. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. I got blood work done um, recently on October 3rd, and I want to share my results compared to the last time I got my blood work done, which was December of 2017. So it has been almost a year. So I'm really excited because I started doing a keto diet in at January 1st. So um, yeah, so if I did this December 18th, so we're talking just a few weeks later, I started keto. And so this is a like an accurate reading of, you know, 10 months on keto. Um, the doctor already looked it all over and she was super impressed. She said everything is perfect and um, all my numbers are good. So yeah, so I'm super excited. I wanna share my experience just going to the doctor. We, we always go over my weight, how I'm overweight and um, and I would always have high blood pressure because I was overweight. She would talk to me about maybe taking medication for that and I'd always just say, no, no, no. Like, I know it's just because um, I'm overweight and once I get that down, like, it'll be fine. And I just, I really don't like medications for things. I try to stay away from that. And so I was just like determined to do it on my own. But every year I'd come back and I'd be the same weight or even more overweight and she'd have a talk with me again about blood pressure medicine and she would do an EKG and she'd make sure that everything was good. Um, you know, and I would just be like, no, this year I'm gonna do it. Anyway, the last time I was there when I got this first blood work done in December last year, uh, she had just started the keto diet and she had lost like maybe um, like 20 pounds or something. She had been doing it for like three or four months um, prior to telling me about it. 
and uh, and she just liked it and she just casually mentioned it and she was like yeah for breakfast I have bacon and eggs and cheese and I'm like you have what so I was like okay I'll give it a try and that was it it was like a simple like she brought it up and then we moved on to the next subject anyway she had no idea that I tried it and I stuck to it and I've been on it ever since and I'm like 80 pounds down or 85 pounds I don't know it fluctuates. She didn't even recognize me at first. She just comes in because she sees a lot of people, you know, and and um, so she just says hello. And then she pulls up my chart and the nurse that was, that took me in before she saw me had already taken like my vitals and all that. And so I had like a normal blood pressure and everything was perfect. <laughs> it was really cool to get a normal blood pressure. I think it was like 120 over 70. So she's like reading over my results that the nurse had like written down. She's looking at this like alert on the computer about high blood pressure and she's looking at my page and she's like, this is weird. And she says it out loud. She's like, this says you have high blood pressure, but like you don't. Huh, I wonder if something is like wrong here. And she was so confused. And I was like, nope, it's me. And I had a reminder of who I was. And I was like, no, every year I come in, I have high blood pressure, but this year I lost a bunch of weight and you were the one that told me about keto, just FYI, like, and I did it. And it's been amazing, and so thank you. And she was like, wait, what? And she was kind of confused. So I said, hold on, and I pulled out my Instagram, and I showed her some of my before and after pictures, and she was like, oh my God, I remember you now. And she points to like the bigger picture of me, and she goes, yes, like, I remember you looking like this. And it was so funny and so, um, yeah, it was just a really cool moment, guys. And so I wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah, it was awesome. And then she went ahead and like grabbed all the other nurses and like people came in and, and she was like telling my story and people were checking out my Instagram and it was really funny. Um, anyway, blood work results. So uh, I just like highlighted the main things that I thought were really cool. And the doctor um, said that she likes to just look at the glucose and the cholesterol and um yeah so those are the two main things i'll go over with you if there's other things that you're curious about i guess you could just leave it in the comment and then i will um try to answer you with what my result was on that particular thing um but i just kind of like went through all of the things that it checks for and i just see that my numbers are all in the uh, range that they need to be so um so everything looks good you know um and the doctor said everything looked good too. The one that I highlighted in pink is from December 2017. And this one that I've highlighted in yellow is from um, October 3rd this year. And so I will just show you the glucose. December 18th, 2017, my glucose was at a 98. And the range that you need to be in is 70 to 100. So 98, I was almost at the 100 mark. Then this year, my glucose is now at a 75. What? 75, so the range is 70 to 100. So I was at the top of the range uh, last year or 10 months ago, and now I am at the bottom of the range in glucose. And just simply because I just don't eat sugar anymore. So now I wanna move over to cholesterol. Uh, I do have a cholesterol just like number overall. And the cholesterol number is 156. And the range is from zero to 200. Uh, yeah, even though I'm still in the range there, uh, my cholesterol results are even better this year. So my cholesterol went down to 136. So it started off at 156 and we are 20 points down to 136. LDL, my cholesterol number was 105 and that's from a range to zero to 100. So 105 is actually high. So I, um, so I had high LDL cholesterol at that point last year but my LDL now is down to 95 so I'm back within range from 0 to 100 those are the things that she had mentioned when she was just looking I guess those are like the numbers that they look at first and then I and then she kind of just skimmed through the rest and was like yep 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 like kidneys good da, 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 and like that was it you know and um, so yeah 
that's it. Isn't that so cool, guys? One other thing before I go, I have a really funny story and like announcement to make about my Instagram account. So um, some of you may have already seen that I created a second Instagram account and this is like my personal account. And um, so I wanna start posting more pictures of going out and dressing up because that's something I never used to do. So I never really needed a social media account because I never went out and did anything. I have, I had nothing to post, nothing to share, you know, and I was embarrassed about my weight. So um, I just didn't have an account like that. And uh, so now I, I wanna share pictures like that. And I wanna go out and travel more and do things and, and share that with you all. But then I thought, well, if I put a bunch of pictures of that or my dogs and stuff like on my fitness page, you know, maybe some of you might not want to see that kind of stuff. And so, uh, so I think it's good to keep my like fitness and diet um, kind of separate from my personal life. And um, but you guys are all free to follow uh, both of those. Uh, it's all public. And so, um, yeah, if you guys want to see me like getting dressed up more and going out, trying to enjoy life more, um, definitely follow me. I will uh, just put the name right here so you can see what it's at, uh, where it's at. But you can also click um, on the link in my in the bio of my um, Kim's Commitment Instagram. Uh, you'll see in the bio it says like personal IG, and um, you can just click there and find me through that. So the time that I went tailgating, I mentioned it in one of my prior videos. I met this guy there. And um, super nice guy and funny and we were like kind of flirting, you know, like I haven't, you know, practiced flirting in a long time. So uh, I think that's what I was doing. Uh, but he did ask for my number. So I guess I did okay with it. And then he was like, do you have Facebook? And I was like, oh no. And um, but I was like, but I have an Instagram account. And because I do, it's just like the first thing that came to my mind was like, um, no, I have Instagram if you want that. And he's already got his phone out and he's like, okay, yeah, cool. Like, what is it? And I'm like, oh, it's Kim's commitment. And I'm like, oh my God. Like it's like slow motion, like train wreck situation because he has no idea that I've lost all this weight. And like, he's thinking this is like some like personal account where he's going to see pictures of me hanging out with my friends and like, you know, surfing or something, I don't know, but it's not that. In fact, it's like before and after pictures of me with like a huge belly and like dressing like a boy in t-shirts and stuff. Oh my God, guys, I, I, but I couldn't stop it. I mean, it was happening, it was too late and I just had to quickly say something before he saw the fat picture and was like, what is going on here? So I was like, Oh, uh, by the way, <laughs> I've like lost a lot of weight this year. I'm kind of like on this weight loss journey thing. And, and so, uh, yeah, that was like, that's what my, my Instagram is kind of about. Um, you know, and, and he's at the same time, I'm like trying to quickly explain, he like finds it and follows and he like kind of scrolls like a little bit through the picture and I'm like, because I can see it. I like, I'll show you guys, this is the first picture that shows up that he clicks on. And he's like, oh, you know, and he's trying to be nice. Like, wow, that's uh, wow, you did a great job. And I'm like, thanks. Like mortified guys, mortified. Like, yeah, I mean, it's cool. They're gonna find out eventually. And like, I'm proud of it, but like first date kind of thing and not even a date, but like just first meeting. It's not something that you're trying to share that like, hey, this is what I looked like six months ago. <laughs> At that moment, it hit me that I really need a, a personal Instagram account that is more uh, just my day-to-day -day activities and, and fun things um, where I'm not like in a sports bra with my big stomach hanging out Oh, <laughs> needless to say, he never called. It's fine, guys. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, it's fine. It was cool. Uh, super nice guy. If he's watching, hey. 
<laughs> and um, yeah, it was just a funny moment and a reminder that I'm ready for um, another account to just show uh, me living life and I'm excited to live life. It's, it's been a long time. I'm, I'm used to just watching TV all weekend and, and wishing I was out and about but not feeling confident enough. And so, um, yeah, so now I'm back out in the world and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing all of that with you guys too. Uh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching and all your continued support. If you've left me questions that I haven't answered yet, I'm really, really sorry. I think I'm just going to do like a Q&A video soon, and then I'll look back through all the questions and try to answer everything in that video because I think that might be a little easier. Um, and that's it. All right. Bye, guys. I will see you next weekend.